squeeze in at 192 and a half pounds. Hailing from Brampton, Ontario, he is undefeated with 11 wins. Six of his 11 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning and defending NABA Cruiserweight Champion, Dangerous Tim Tim Daly. He didn't miss a step. That's where Denton Daly's able to pick it up. Oh, that was all glove. Sounded great, but it was all glove. There's one that sneaks through. Nice body shot. You know what, Taylor's right elbow is coming down there to block those body shots, but if he starts doing that on instinct, Daly will have a clear shot to the head. And what Daly's so quick at, with his hand speed, he can double up a left hook, and he can go body head before Taylor could even get that hand. Calculated fighter with a good game plan. Nice uppercut, the right hand. Wow. Here we go, taking a look at two big punches again. Look at, look at that by Daly. Daly looked, it, well, that was very Jean Pascal like or Roy Jones like. It was, it, he looked away and, and threw a punch. Very Roy Jones. Jean Pascal did some of that too, probably because he had Roy Jones in his corner in his last fight. But Daly doing very similar antics there. And look at this. Oh, nice. Nicely done, penetrating the defense. Rounds of boxing. We go to the judges' scorecards. And all three judges, Kelly Zolnierczyk, Alan Davis, and Jeremy Hayes are all in agreement, scoring it exactly the same, 120 to 108, all in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated and NABA cruiserweight champion, dangerous. Denton Daly, still undefeated, still NABA Cruiserweight Champion. I have to ask a question, when your gloves were being taken off, it looks like you were wincing from that right hand. Is something wrong? Yeah, sorry, I just need to take a moment here. Thank you, everybody, again. I love you guys. Big shout out to the Cisco crew in the house. The, B the Grand River BMW family in the house. Special, special thanks to Dr. Tom Kerber, to Dr. Laura Sticks, to Dr. Martin Diziak to Julie Stark. I hurt my hand really badly. And should I have lost this fight? I would not have mentioned it because a true man doesn't make excuses. I fought this fight the best of my ability. I'm sorry I couldn't put on more of a show, but I didn't have a right hand. Not to take anything away from Andreas Taylor, which is absolutely tough and a great fighter. Yeah, I just want to say, everybody, yes, the hand was a, was a factor, but true champions overcome all obstacles. Tell us then, Obviously, the fans certainly agree. Tell us about the fight then with the limited capability with the right hand. What was the game plan going in? The game plan was to fight with one hand. <laughs> um, those doctors that I mentioned earlier got my hand into a position where I could perform tonight. And uh, if it wasn't for them, I don't know what would happen. Uh, it was just to show the hand, just to keep them off as much as possible. It hurt every time, but what are you going to do? He's smart. Every time I threw a punch, he'd show the top of his head and completely mess up my hand. I learned that from him, you know what I mean? He's a great fighter. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Andreas Taylor again. Just to give us an idea, is it broken? Uh, no, I wouldn't say broken. I'm not going to say that it's broken. I think there's a lot of uh, tissue damage. I mean, I'll be out for a while getting this fixed up because uh, when we come back, we're coming back strong. It's going to be a stronger right hand. I'm going to end the fight earlier. Okay, I have to ask the question because you're in this conversation now. Title eliminator could be in your future. What does Denton Daly want next? <laughs> I want the world title. All right? And the only way that this is going to happen is if we have this kind of support and more come out to the next one and we bring it here. Let's bring it to Ontario and I'll bring home that world, that world championship. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Dangerous Denton Daly.